What's going on? So I'm down here in uh, Lubbock, Texas, and I saw this dock that I think is going to be a little bit difficult to get into because people said that my backing video from uh, when I was backing at the Loves it was too easy. So like this dock right here, I gotta go in. I gotta get in dock number eight. I don't know if y'all can see that over there. Let me see right there. Like what those dudes are standing there right there. That's the dock I got to get into. So I'm gonna get out a couple of times and show you guys how I would get into there, and I'm gonna show how to turn which way to turn the wheel and all that stuff. So. Shit sent my fuel up, but I just put 100 gallons in, so that ain't right. <laughs> so yeah, so what I'm gonna do is get my wheel straight. Get the XPO truck out of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna get the wheel straight, and then I'm gonna make a U-turn right here somewhere. Turn the wheel all the way to the right. Hopefully I don't hit nothing, because I think the main problem with people, like the main fear is not being able to see their blind side. That's why it's called a blind side. So, well, see, I, I know I can't make a U-turn now because I don't want to hit the building. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull forward, get the trailer going to where I want it to go. Turn the wheel back to the right. I turn way too much. So, so now, now I've got, now I'm where I think I want to be at. So I'm going to get out and look to see, see where my trailer's at. So now I see where my trailer's at, I see where my truck's at. So see my truck, see the trailer is a little bit bent like this. So I'm gonna turn the wheel all the way to the right to get the trailer to go all the way to the to, to the left to where I want it to go. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So, so if you look at the front of the truck, you see, I'm at the front of the truck now. If you look at the back of the trailer, it's a little bit off. So I'm gonna turn the wheel all the way to the right and get the trailer going to where I want it to go. Because I've been talking to people telling me that like I made it look too easy backing into that spot at the Loves up. I was in uh, St. Louis. That was like a year ago. But anyway, here we go. It was like nine months ago or something. Anyway. Back up. So we got plenty of space. See, see the trailer just started. Now you can see the trailer in the, in the mirror. So. I should be able to get that. Then you just hold it. Once you get it going the way you want it to go, get out and look again. You get out and look again to make sure you're not hitting anything. Come around the back of the truck or the back of the trailer. I'm around the back of the trailer and just look to make sure that you ain't gonna hit nothing. See right there, my truck slap. The truck slap is when the truck comes around like this. So my truck slap is not gonna hit that trailer right there because I just eyeballed and I can see. So get back in the truck and finish going to where I wanted to go. And when I get the trailer straight to where I'm going to go, then I'll open the doors. Because with the doors open, it throws off your, your line of sight. So get back in the truck and back up some more. I'm probably gonna get up probably like three more times to get out and look. I know in truck driving school, they don't let people, they only want you to get out no more than twice, but this is real world shit. So fuck that. I'm gonna get out however many times I want to. And then once you get like that now, you see, see how like I'm pretty much just like this now. Now you wanna turn the wheel all the way to the left all the way to the left and then just you'll watch the trailer just start walking around the way you want it to and then when you start going the way you want it to go you want to look at the front of the you want to look check your convex mirrors if you have convex mirrors if you're a new driver <coughs> you will have convex mirrors so i'm gonna let it I'm gonna do one turn back to the right to make sure I'm missing that uh, that trailer right there. And see, see now. If I hadn't turned the wheel that one turn, my mirror right here would have hit that trailer. So, oh, then you just keep backing up. 
and then I'm gonna turn it all the way back to the left. Well, I'm gonna hold it a little bit more. And then turn it all the way back to the left. Yep. Hope I don't hit that United trailer right there too. Do, 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 do. No need to be in a hurry. No need to be in a hurry, just go slow. Ugh. Do another one turn. To, to look, open it up a little bit. So, you, so like my front of my truck will miss that trailer right there. And then you turn it again all the way back to the left to get it going the way you want it to go. Like you just can't be afraid to get the trailer and truck bent like this like bent like that because a lot of people are i'm not this i'm used to doing it so and then see now like the tires are turning straight see how they're going how the tires on the trailer are going forward and keep going back and then once i get it all the way like that the way i want it then i am going to pull forward turn the wheel all the way back to the right and you'll see my trailer start to straighten up and then i'm just back straight into door number eight see how, see how the trailer is opening up a little bit get it going about right there like a lot of this is off of feel a lot of it's off of feel so now i got the trailer where i wanted to go Pretty much about right there. I'm gonna turn the wheel all the way back to the left and then let it walk in there. I'm, probably, I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna have to pull up one more time. I'm gonna have to pull up one more time to get in there, but yep, see, now I'm going like that. See, you see my trailer's going towards that uh, that dump truck or that, uh, that trash truck right there. So now I'm gonna pull forward and I'm gonna be headed, I'm gonna be pretty much lined up straight with the door with dock number eight. See, look at that, bam, just like that. Turn the wheel straight. And then back up and then bam there you go easy as pie you just cannot be afraid of hitting stuff because i have hit a whole bunch of stuff like i done bumped into shit because i didn't have any well i had people to tell me what to do but i'm uh i'm what's known as hard-headed but i didn't i didn't and i was not watching youtube videos on how to back up because i was like i can do it myself I'm a professional. Now I'm gonna open my doors and get in there. Now I'm gonna open my doors and then we're gonna get right in there. That scared the shit out of me. Always make sure when you when you put your handles back, put them back inside of there. Just like on this side. And then you want to lock your doors in place. Like so. Bam. Bam. Lock the door that you're trying to get into. So since I opened my door, you see like my sight line is off a little bit. So I'm gonna pull up one more time to make sure that I'm going to where I want to go. So one turn to the, well, half turn to the right, pull forward. One whole turn to the left. And then another one turn to the right. Bam, see, look, see now I'm pretty much lined up straight now. So, and my steering wheel's crooked a little bit, but it is what it is. Half turn to the uh, left, then another. Another half turn to the right. And look at that. Now, another whole turn to the left. Another whole turn to the left. Like that. And then, see? Now you're in there. Bam. Now and then, once you feel it, once you've hit the door, you leave it in reverse and then you pull the brake so it'll keep a tight seal on the dock. And then, there you go. 
And that's how you bump a dog. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.